Hi everyone and welcome to today's card creation. I am using the brand new Blooming Wellies stamp set and coordinating dies from Catherine Puller. I have done a little bit of ink blending on my card today. The colors on the left don't, um, I've only used two of those and then I introduced the Lime Key. I have got an oldie but a goodie stamp set here. I love this dotted stamp set and it's a background one so it's large and it covers a full panel and I've coordinated it with the wellies because the one of the wellies has dots on there which I am going to color in today's coloring medium of choice are the Karen markers I hope that's how you say it Karen 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 I think I butchered that which is pretty normal for me to do nowadays um, but first off, I'm going to create the background. I'm going to use clear embossing powder from Wow Embossing. This is a regular size granules that I've used. Um, if and when it comes for me to using sentiments and fine details, I definitely use the super fine. But for today's background, it's just more solid, circular, easy to heat emboss. So I chose the regular granules for heat embossing today. The technique I am using for the background is embossed resist. So once I've heat set this, I am going to ink blend on Catherine Puller Smooth White embossing um, paper cardstock, sorry, to get that seamless blend look. And in coordinating to get that seamless blend look, I have used the Catherine Puller ink blending tools. And I just love the color of these ink blending tools. I love the teals and the aquas and the white bristles. I have to say, I am loving the white bristles. I need to get more. So to start with my ink blending, I've got Aquatini and I've just pressed the ink pad on the a craft mat you can use the lid if you want i just chose a craft mat because this is what i had to the left of me and i found it easier this way now i have sped this up because i've worked really light-handed first and then i just keep using the same light same light-handed circular motions until i got the depth of color i was after now i do the same for the juniper mist so even though I had the four colors on the side there, I only end up using Aquatini and Juniper Mist, and then I bring in the Lime Ricky to finish it off. The Juniper Mist definitely recommend going lighter hand because this is a very dark ink um, and start off as light as you can with a light hand, light motion, light circular motion and really work your way up to building the color. Here I've got the Lime Ricky. I love the vibrancy of the Lime Ricky and this is why I chose um, to change my color combination and then therefore I also changed the Karen Marker's color combination to color in the image. Now off camera, I heat embossed the wellies in clear, uh, sorry, in black ebony embossing powder and then I'm just now coloring them in with Karen Marker's. Karen markers are water soluble, so even though I don't use a lot of this as a water coloring, I did heat emboss on watercolor cardstock to allow me the flexibility shall I needed it. So the only time I applied water was with my aqua brush was for the leaves. I will list the current markers that I used below. I used royal blue, arctic blue, soft peach, pale pink, gold and apple and then what i do is i'm going to add just the green to the base of the leaves and this is where i bring in my aqua brush to blend out i didn't feel like it needed to be a solid color um, and i was happy for that to be blended out i just use a fine tip aqua brush for that application and then i'm going to color the rest of it in with the soft peach now with the peach here i'm just adding the color intentionally in the middle only of the florals and i left it as is i left the outer part of every petal the same color for the cut stuff so i didn't elaborate i didn't fill it in i loved that kind of solid 
um, just almost like a graphic style of coloring for that floral image. I will color the rest of this in with the royal blue. I love the royal blue. It was dark enough to kind of feel like it worked cohesively with the background and the same with the colors I've chosen overall. So I'm just going to solidly color this in. I was very, very careful. I have to say careful coloring is not really my forte. <laughs> I don't have a steady hand as what I would like. Now I'm going to die cut this with the coordinating dies and run that through my die cutting machine. I've also die cut with the, heart, the layered um, hearts here, the stitched hearts. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment, you fill my heart with joy, with the juniper mist, so it all kind of works and coordinates. I'm going to stamp it to the left, top left of the heart, so that way I can place the image, the die cut image on the right of the heart. And I've worked it this way, so one, you can make sure you can read the sentiment. Um, and because of the size of the blooming wellies i didn't want to lose the heart but also wanted to um, make sure we could see the sentiment and the heart die cut as well now i foam mounted the heart and only placed foam mount on the bottom of the wellies and liquid adhesive on the top part i'm going to finish this off with the cradle lake sequins and that's it for today's card creation it's really really simple i loved the i love practicing coloring with my color markers i'm going to practice more it was a christmas present to myself <laughs> from myself um, and it was a little bit of a treat for me to get that so I'm trying to use it up so thanks for watching everyone don't forget to hit the notification button um, button and subscribe if you like to see more of this content thank you everyone have a lovely day